right, I should do an intro for the YouTube episode. Uh, hello, adventurers and action heroes. My name is TB Sky, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where uh, because of explosions happening down there, I've decided to go in through the other door in here, where there's some dead skeleton guys on the floor, uh, who I'm sure will remain dead. And I am doing a sneaky beaky. How quaint. We all failed a religion roll. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Can I learn tongues? Because then I should be able to read it. Ooh, a button. That's curious. Let's press the button. What could go wrong? <laughs> Why was I right? Oh my god, at least I stole some of their weapons. Health. Something just woke up down here. It's just woo. -hoo. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Huh, speak with dead. Okay. I will take that. And equip it. Can I not close the door? No? Okay. Well, hmm. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. See to the dead first. Dost thou think to rush fate? See to the dead? Okay. What do you mean? I have to go kill him? Stay out of sight. I mean, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Can you hit that one? Yes. Cause we don't we spend a bunch of spell slots on the fight with those looters. So that's costing us. <laughs> I should have taken a short rest. Nah. Would you like to miss some of those? Thank you. At least they can't cast magic missile. Jesus. Silence? Oh, fuck off. Can I just get out of the silence, please? Good. <sighs> Can't get up to him. Critical. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Oh, fuck off. Critical miss. Not that it matters. Hey, where's my opportunity attack? There we go. I thought for a second it was not going to let me have it. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Oh, so because... Because you're hiding, you're not in turn order. I see. I just want well... To look. That's why she wasn't in turn order. Right. There we go. Nice. Would you stop it with that? All right, you, wake up.
Actually, go back to bed. It's actually fine. It's not a... Oh, you have nice eyelashes. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. Hello, Withers. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Uh, mine is incalculably valuable. Um... <laughs> A little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit. What are you? I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Ah, uh, yeah, ask away, I guess. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? <laughs> Depends on the mortal. Ah, uh, I think we'll take the bard option. A life is only worth as much as the legends remember it. Like, my answer is that each life is of infinite value because of... Like, it's... Every life is definitionally unique and irreplaceable, so... A life and how it is lived... A different equation. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Oh, uh... Bye? Arrow of darkness? Arrow of undead slaying. Nice. A silver band, some gold, and a soul coin? Wait, hang on. What? Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. These coins can power infernal engines? Strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder too. He only has one he health? What the hell? Also, uh, dude, that's not the way out. Parchment and bone dust. Still comforting after all this time. Now they have gold. You didn't have gold before? Fuck you. You were holding out on me while you were dead. Er. Yes, but could I investigate that thing before I try and open it? No? Okay. Silver necklace. I'll take it. Sarcophagus. Ooh. Ringmail armor. Nice. A skull. I think I'll leave the skull, but I'll... Yeah, yeah, I'm encumbered. I know. Whatever. Leave me alone. Book of Dead Gods? This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Search for an arcane rune to sabotage. Let's try it. I mean, really, I should be... I mean, made it, um... Should be letting the wizard do that, shouldn't I? But, uh... the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Hmm. I'll try a religion roll, I guess. Hey! 
Hey! I do like this dice rolling, though. Like, because in the old Baldur's Gate games, right, when you roll the dice, which your character did all the time, it just popped up as a little text thing. You rolled X, and then, like, you failed or you succeeded. Having this little graphic, this little animation thing on it, that does help. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Interesting. Gale gets something out of that. Ah, because he's a sage. Sweet. Anything in the vase? I can't see anything. Well. Taking that with me. Yeah, it might be the big door on the other end, but... Uh, not gonna lie, is some big booms outside of that door that I don't necessarily want to mess with right now. Although in here, there's probably giant spiders or something, so who knows? We're choosing plague or cholera, I guess. Ooh, lever. What a thrill. With do oh, come on, no ladder climbing cutscene? With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll meld into you. There we go. Got some of it out at least. Oh, huh? what's that? Don't fancy getting my hands dirty. I need a shovel. Oh, I saw a shovel. There was a shovel like there was a shovel like way back. One hour later. There was a pile of dirt with a shovel in I remember. Approximately ten hours later. It's a pile of dirt with a shovel. Ah, there you are. Found you. For me? Oh, okay. Arrow of fire, gold, silver ingot. Cool. Now, back to the other pile. Two thousand years later. And, okay, another chest. All right, then. A trap disarm tool. I like that. I would like to have that. That's good to have. It is time to go to camp and restore ourselves. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm wearing something nicer. Oh, that's way better. Holy shit. I like that a lot more. Hey, Gail. Go to hell. And good evening to you, too. <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Huh. Devils. Dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. Fetuses. That's not abstract. Hmm. <laughs> what can I say? But you're right. We're deep in the you know what. Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets. 
Bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Well, give it a try. We'll need you to be fresh tomorrow. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. We'll both stay up. I, again, thinking about who my character is, given that we're both charlatans, like, I think my character, like, instantly distrusts him a lot because they can tell they're different. They, like, they can tell they're the same. You know, if you want to spend time with me, you only have to say so. But suit yourself. I'm sure we'll drift off at some point. Yeah. Do you sleep, though, Fangs? Do you? A monster forms Whoa. inside oh. us, hmm. yet you waste time with idle chatter. Yeah, no. Ha mm -hmm. Speak. Not interested in conversation. Fair enough. That's fine. That's fuck. That's okay. That you're not wanting to talk. Hmm. Why? Why are you here? We meet again, as predicted. As predicted, or did you just follow me? I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. Uh, not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to explain further? He's going to say no. No. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. That's incredibly powerful. <laughs> and look very ugly doing it. <laughs> incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. You mentioned a cost. Did he? I don't think he mentioned a cost. A matter of coin. That's outrageous. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. Okay. Can you help me change my class? So that's cool. I mean, I don't want to spend the money just to check out the option. Okay. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. I want a vest like that. Like, come on. What were you two talking about? What do you mean? You and Gail. No, you've lost me. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, oh, uh, we were just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Gale. You don't trust Gale? He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. I mean, I agree because we have brain parasites, so agreed. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. How the fuck am I lying? What the hell? <laughs> oh, right, because elves meditate. They don't sleep. We're back at the chapel entrance. Let's... And now... Oh! Oh, that's what all the... 
that that's what all the loud boom noises have been. Right. Yeah, I can't really shoot that to pieces, can I? Okay. How can I? Okay. Hmm. Your kind will punish you for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazelk? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many, and will not be a burden to my queen. Cool. Okay, so I guess all that's left now is to go north. I'm here in the shouting. Hey, you found a waypoint. Nice. An autosave, great. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> oh, they're gonna get the gate guy. Yeah. Beaky. And, uh, is there anything I need to do to prepare here? Let's see. Uh, I will go yoink, to the high ground to deal with the archers. What comes now? And you two will go down here and get ready to charge into the fray. I like that. I like that Sneak lets you do this. That you can just like move freely outside of turn order. That is very cool. Okay. Uh, so now the thing is, I think I'll put Bane on like those three. And then I'll have her backstab the hell out of that goblin there. Excellent. How did you miss? Come on! A rough tempest I will raise. May it please, Mistra. Oh my god, that 94% miss. Oh, <laughs> that's unsatisfying. Then I think I'll just fucking try and see if I can't one hit you. Ah, uh, not quite. Ah! 
You didn't even kill him! Oh my god. Okay, how the hell did Grease wake that goblin up? Okay, so that, that makes more sense. That shove. Oh, you're a warlock. Okay. Right. Kill that guy, would you? Please, thank you. No more spellcasters. We have progressed past the need for spellcasters. I know, that drops concentration on him, but I think she needs to be armored right now, because... Ugh. Could you daze that guy? Oh, come on! take that guy down. Because I have to assume he has some kind of buff that he can put on. Oh, thanks for the help. Ow! Jesus. Well, there we go. That should keep them from getting too close. Uh, can I vicious mockery you from here? Yes, I can. Oh no! God damn it! Why would you walk into the fire, you dumb idiot moron? Ugh, that's annoying. And you're on fire now. Great. Okay. I, get, I really would like there to be a prompt saying, "Hey, if you go here, you're gonna take fire damage or whatever." There we go. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Never one of these. Feel like we're being watched. Hey. Dude! Thank you, jerk. You let them! There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! <laughs> Let's, yeah, play Peacemaker. Let's see. Where there's one goblin, there's ten I'm leaving before the horde shows up. One fight just ended, you're picking another. Ah, backstabbing. This feels just like home. Let's, uh... I mean, I can't not take the bard, can't I? Ah, oh, come on. With advantage, even? Yay! Just barely. <laughs> and who the hell are you again? Show some respect. If not for them, your pathetic life would be over. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Yes, you did. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Come on, 
on with these rolls? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna make this one. Ah, so close. I have four inspiration. I might as well use it. Might I not? There we go. Jesus. As the, you shouldn't hold on to resources. Right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. Hey, I leveled up. Thank God. Oh, all of the things. We get to choose our subclass. Let's see, health increase, got some spell slots. I get to choose some new... Oh, I can customize my skill proficiencies. Okay, I don't need to... I don't want to change them. I think they're fine where they are. Let's see. Oh, geez, that's not a lot of subclasses. Where's the College of Glamour? Come on, I wanted College of Glamour. Only player's handbook or class, subclass. Ah, well, fine enough. There's also invisibility, which is quite useful. Uh, I think I will go with Phantasmal Force. And I get my Draw Magic Fairy Fire, excellent. Now, do I want to replace anything? Speak with animals is so circumstantial, and yet I would have, like, I had that little moment with the boar where I said hi to the boar, and it was like, no, fuck off, and it ran away. And that was a good moment. I don't want to, I don't want to lose out on that. Okay, I think that's good enough for your level up. Okay, you get your crap ton of spells. I do feel like I should probably have someone with lesser restoration running around, though. Yeah. <sighs> Flaming Sphere? I played a Light Cleric, and Flaming Sphere was, like, one of my mainstay abilities, because it was just so good. Like, just to have a like, little ball of fire that fucks around messes with people. Uh, Misty Step is so good as a defensive option to get out of being, like, surrounded or attacked, but he's an evocation wizard, so... Let's get you your subclass. Can I choose another one? Oh, cool. Eldritch Knight. Two cantrip spells. Oh, right, but you don't have that in for that, do you? <laughs> you really don't. And there's the champion, which is just like the... Like, that's the one that just, like, hit things with a sword. Um, yeah, you hit those problems really quite hard. Whereas Battlemaster is the one that gets maneuvers and shit. Like, that gives a, def a defensive option... A big attack for groups and some trip attacks to just, like, do crowd control. <sighs> Champion is crit fishing class. Yeah, like, champions get critical hits way easier. Time to pack. We need to leave. Anyway, hey, dude. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. I wouldn't have looked to a drow for help, but I'm grateful all the same. I'm Zevlor. <laughs> Do you have something against drow? <laughs> eh. I take my thanks in coin. Then you'll have better luck looting the goblins outside. This is a druid's grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. 
the druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I have my own temporal concerns. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. It's a little serious. To prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Slightly serious. I'll find her, and I'll speak to Kaga while I'm there. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. I don't want to hear that from a tiefling, dude. <laughs> like, what the hell? Let's see. A traitor. Oh, a traitor. Traitor. Hey, you give me your money. I care about our lives. Our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back. Right now. You, give me money. Refugees, adventurers, and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Yes, cool. But take all of my things off my hand. Can I just get just throw my wares at him somehow? Also, take this off my hands, please. Take the mug. Uh, I don't think I need the quill for anything. Also, the slave mine. Here, have a brain. Have a brain suspended in liquid. Do you want that? Don't you want that? I think you should want that. Oh, double click on items you want to sell. Yeah. Gloves of missile snaring. You can intercept missile from ranged weapon, reducing their damage by your dexterity. Oh, it's fucking, it's the monk ability. No, I want that. Uh, dies. Oh, God. Oh, being able to dye my clothes would be good. I would like to be able to do that. 170 to match it. I want those gloves. I want to have defense against fucking ranged attacks, please. That would be very nice to have on my poor bard who's been shot a lot. <laughs> okay. Bunch of healing potions. Better set of armor for my bard. Yeah. Sylvanas, guide your path. Ah, oh, that's better. They also look better now. Okay, that's a lot better. I need to get these people to stop arguing. We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I don't think my character would necessarily say anything. Roland's right, sis. We should leave while we still can. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Ah, oh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. My character's like, eh, I don't see an advantage to getting involved in this, so I don't think they would really say anything. I hope those people don't die on the way to Boulder's Gate. That would suck. 
Those are kids. Oh my god. The Blade of Frontiers. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Hakobak. Children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart too. The future's in good hands. Swing and... oh! The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill. <laughs> okay. Can I talk to him then? Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Oh, he seems nice. Nice warlock. That's a warlock. <laughs> this whelp is worthless. You're wasting your time. No. Uh. <laughs> well met. The blade of frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Devil's Advocate? Hunting in the Hells. Dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the Infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me, then. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Yeah, just take away one of the defenders from the camp. Let's do that. <laughs> Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Interesting technique. Having some trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse, we need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. <laughs> Try hitting the target. <laughs> Read his thought. Again, I believe detect thoughts is like they can feel when you do that, right? Like it's characters are aware when they have spells cast on them. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Give me guidance for this, would you? <laughs> And I just, just froze while the wall tore his head clean off. He seems kind of aware. Never again. Clear your mind. Past mistakes don't matter. Focus on the present, the target. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step, parry, step, step, swing. 
Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. One last thing. Don't shout out your moves like that. Spoils for the surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Keep training. In time you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Hey, I got a thing. And Lazale gets inspiration from that. <laughs> I like. So that's progress. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? <laughs> Hold it, Lazelle. I'll see to this one. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Enough. Stand down. I won't tell you again. We're not going to get anything out of Fine. him with you yelling at him. Ah, I can breathe again. I won't let her hurt you. Thanks. What do you want from me? Information. Where did you see the Githyanki? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. I am better than you at talking, Lazale. Thanks for your help, and apologies for my companion. No hard feelings. How much farther can I go? The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? Yeah, well... You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. If you finished scowling at me, what comes next? The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. <laughs> Did you say tea sling? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. No, no, it's Faerun. What do you mean purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. All right. Little friend, little buddy, little pal, come here. Stay back, or else. Oh, baby. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Just get back. Ow! Oh, my tooth. Take a look. It's the front one. I chipped it on the evil thing. Were you trying to eat it? Maybe. I didn't think it would bite me back. <laughs> Wait. You're big. You can get rid of the evil thing. Follow me. But be ready for anything. Oh, absolutely. I'm 100% on board with this now. This is the main quest now. I love you. Hmm. Let's just uh let's just be hidden here. Oh, bet I could crack that open. Shoes. Where are my boots? <laughs> hey! That is the most open that door has ever been. I'm afraid I can't. I've been placed in charge of this area. I have proficiency <laughs> and expertise. And yes, we're putting friends on that. <laughs> you are the most deceived anyone has ever been. But Zevlor said I... 
damn it! Figured it was a pity post anyway. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Need a hand up? I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a falls. Bloody potion! Where did you get this potion? From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. Well, crate guarding is a serious job. That doesn't sound like a side effect at all. Let me heal. Uh, you'll be dead in seconds if the goblins come. I can heal you for a price. That's more my character. Charlatan, remember? <sighs> all right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Here. Very mercenary of you. I wouldn't have done it any differently. Hold still and I'll cast the spell. Okay, so we need to get rid of paralyzed, which means you need to cast lesser restoration on them. Let the pain fade. Day absorbed. My foot. It moved. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. There we go. Oh, sorry. I need. Let them come. Goblins. No. Yeah, the evil thing's in the chest. The evil thing is in the chest. <gasps> the key. I see. Are you worried about it, little friend? Hey. Hey, buddy. The evil thing's gone! No! Where was I? You tried to eat the key, you little dum-dum. Oh, baby. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Are you sure the crash is the only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. That's a lot of proper nouns. Total understanding, absolutely, yeah. But I wouldn't I I antagonize her like that. Books are fallible, as are those who write them. Not books, but slates. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos, and cold fires rage. The plains are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Hmm. What I wanted to see is the rat in the chest now? Maybe it is. Okay. Well, just let him eat. Poor thing. Must be hungry. Let's see. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. <laughs> soul coins as a concept are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as a currency by devils in their cohort. So that's what they are. They are frequently traded, for their value can purchase mercenaries, magical item, and even fuel the strange engines in hell, in the hells. However, there's a fascinating culture surrounding the soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil she, who admitted she has one coin she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of lemur stage status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. 
I was able to look at his contract, which was reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. <laughs> What's up for discussion? How you doing, buddy? Ah, you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. There's something strange about this ox. What is it? Give me... <laughs> Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye. Care to explain? No. You are incapable. Oh, oh, oh now. Oh, come on. Fine. I heard the tieflings are going to butcher one of you for food, so your secret will die with you. <laughs> like... You think I'm gonna let that slide, cow? Wait, where did friends go? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'd so love to see them try. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. No. That's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Moo. Huh. Tick tock. Funny. I swear the fox's gaze is following me. What is with this? Are you a druid in wild shape? You're a druid in wild shape. That's 100% what's going on here. Another one. What are you under there, then? Ant. Or rocks. What are you talking about? The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Shiny bits? The tieflings put something in your hay? Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. Not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the <laughs> other end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stick it to the man. Fuck the power. How about you, buddy? Be gone. I am hungry. Oh, man. Speak with the animals is so good. <sighs> this place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> they really did hide their shiny bits. I'll take it out of there. So the ox can eat. <laughs> he stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Turn around and see what he's looking at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Well, let's check. <laughs> nope. I get close, but I don't find anything. Darn. Ah, well, can't win them all. I don't think I'll use inspiration on that. But find no sign of a way through. Oh, hey. You're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Well, that's true. You're thinking of the Loth Sworn. Should you see a pair of red eyes, run. Oh. Okay. Um, hey, would you like to see something fun? Oh, nice little sleight of hand. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Hmm. 
Slide a hand. Mimic the trick. Because I'm a bard. Oh, come on! Ah, come on! I'm a bard. I'm supposed to be able to do this. Fuck you. I'll spend inspiration on... No! Come on! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm getting this. There we go. <laughs> I will spend two inspiration points to do a trick for a child. Fuck you. <laughs> Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails. How do you tell that on a ring? <laughs> Pocket the ring? Nah, let's play the game. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hold on. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Suspect it's a trick coin, but let's see heads. Heads! Yeah, <laughs> I think there. I see the sleight of I hand. Think... Not yet. Flip the coin again. Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? We got tails! There. Happy? Here, take your ring back. I want to see your wares. You got it. One sec. Nice hustle, though. I like that That's kid. That's what I got. Safe fail perception. Huh. I wonder what I failed to perceive. Ooh, red die. We're having a couple of red dies. <laughs> ring of infinite wishes? Ring of resistance to ants. Ring of the Lichenesis. Ring of being really invisible. <laughs> Tarbell's Guide to Distractions. A much read guide to chicanery stagecraft and earning a quick coin. I'll buy that from you, kid. Hey, you got spunk. Might steal something for me, but... Uh... Whatever. You bought some. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. <sighs> oh, come with what's with these rolls? Give me the plus four. No. Damn it. No, what are you doing? Uh, uh hey, are you here to trade or? Your partner's yeah, a thief. I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. You can make it right by giving me a percentage of your take. Fine. I'm not so good at counting, but I think any percentage of zero is zero. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. I like them. I'd prefer if they didn't die. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And... You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. A goblin that speaks common. I kind of want to talk to her. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill them too? You, move! I think we'll do 
persuasion. I've, the dice have kind of been a little... I don't want to risk detect thoughts again. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? I don't care that much, uh... <laughs> but... <laughs> if she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot! I have ways. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. Hello, Zaza. Didn't expect to see a drow in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? <laughs> Let's try some deception, shall we? There we go. Yeah, she sent me. Ready to get out of here? Yeah. Take me back to the tribe. And we'll tell the boss all about this pretty little place. So she can burn it to the ground. We'll be heroes. Blessed by Priestess Gut in the name of the Absolute. Priestess Gut is quite the name. Tell me more. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. Who's this absolute? The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. Hmm. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'm not gonna, but, you know. Actually, I won't... Just softies. I already met your friend. You here to get me out of here? I hang on. I want to talk to Gail. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Rather important, no less. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Yeah, approximately a day. Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. Well. In short, I've grown to trust you. Enough with the flattery. Where th where's this going? I was being quite sincere, I assure you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Maybe not in front of the Except goblin, then. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Is it contagious? No, no, nothing like that. Now, if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. To you. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Sounds like <laughs> I'd say you're just fishing for loot. Where do you suggest we find the artifact you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. 
You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. And why exactly would I risk either of those things for a wizard I barely know? Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy, but I, I need to, uh... I'm gonna need to take a check on this a little bit, cuz... Uh, this ain't nothing that you're asking for. Become one with Gale's mind, and you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you, a mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. Indeed. Presumably that just means that the DC goes up, and I don't have that much in wisdom. No. So, do you agree? Very well. I'll help you manage this condition of yours. <laughs> Thank you. I see my trust in you was not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Which item exactly are you looking for, buddy? Oh, I have something to ask. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Terrell fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machines. Yeah, that's what you get from Alas, sacrificing souls. Our offerings are far more humble these days. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin 3 is looking good, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is indeed. Uh, yeah, let's get the axe for you. And the shield for her. We can just about scrape that together, I think. Now. You get the axe. And shield goes to you. Whatever comes, I'm ready. There we go. Still breathing, despite everything. The light on my feet. God's is boring. I'm waiting on someone, and you aren't him. Do you mind? Okay. Seems like a good moment to talk. Oh, feel it. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Oh, just click the weights, they'll put that the gold in. Ah, well, point. that's good. Too late. If it ain't the friendly drow. Thought you were with the goblins when you showed up at the gate. Glad you weren't. You fight well. Not like them bloody tieflings. Yeah, yeah, asshole. <laughs> I think they like you less than they like me. It's almost impressive how detestable you are. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Feck off yourself. I saved your skin back at the gates. Yeah, you really saved the day. Swooping in and Can I kick him off, like, just I'm into the water? The blame for leading the goblins here, and losing track of the bloody druid. Yeah, because you did those things. Where'd the goblins come from? from the ruins we were poking around in. And is that where you lost track of the druid you mentioned? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, 
He'll be cursed in the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. <laughs> Bet I've found it already. Any idea what the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. I really can I hang on. Just I just need to I just need to Just need to uh No, go back. Go back and stand in Go back and stand in front of the water. Go back and stand in front of the water, you shit. What a thrill. The realm according to Bumpo? This does. The book naturally falls to, do to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travel. But they weren't half so strange as the bird folk. First, our cockroach met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human, the wings also of a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of the motley party. Cause, cause her, cause around her at the table were a tabaxi, cat folk, a genasi, elephant folk, and a turtle, turtle folk. Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average, for they were the first of their kind I'd seen. But I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door, so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to both of you. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? <laughs> plans? Just surviving the journey is ambitious enough already. Luck's been on our side this far. No reason to think it'll run out now. Optimism, my friend. <laughs> I want to push you into the water now, too. Damn, goblins. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. He led you in, didn't he? Could have been worse. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. I'm guessing that didn't end well. No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. <laughs> Have it! Are you? I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Hmm. Do it, you gutless stink sack. Ah! Hmm. Knew it. Bloody well knew it. What's happening here? <laughs> no idea. This man just started attacking the boy. I'm tempted just to, like, throw the guy under the bus to fuck him, but... <sighs> the boy's a thief. I'm both 
Both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment. If his parents won't do it, I will. He's an orphan. How'd you like it if I struck you? You raise a hand to me. It'd have better of stealing it. <laughs> My coin's on the tiefling. He looks angry. Let the boy take it as a warning he's getting off lightly? No, he's not. You goddamn snake! Go, child! And you... You had this coming. And stay down. <laughs> you sound like your father. Honestly, dude. Aw, oh, can't pick... It would be so funny to steal the locket off him again. Hey! Come back here, both of you! We ain't done! Thanks to you, I almost lost my locket. My mum gave that to me on her deathbed. Get out of my face. Got nothing to say to you. <laughs> I'm going to attempt it. Let's see what you're hiding. What will we do from here to get when we get to the city? Get. Whatever we want. What? No, I geez. think I'd make a fine... <laughs> <laughs> or a butcher. Mine now. Ah. Uh. Very well. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Have you spoken to Korga? What is it? What brings your people out into the wild? We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after gnolls and goblins attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. If your people survive that, they'll survive anything. So I hoped, but we've lost so many already, and more will die if we're forced out again. Why did Halson go with the adventurers? Some artifact Aradin was hunting. I don't know any more than that, and I don't want to. This grove is poorer for losing Halsin, but I have my own people's concerns to look to. Hmm. Fair enough. No word from the scouts yet. No, sir. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Oh, I'm not I'm not allowed to go on the ladder? Well now I wanna go on the ladder. Quick save. Never wanted the easy path. I need a quick word. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Will you? I don't see many soldiers. We're tougher than we look. We've survived persecution, survived Avernus. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. If you survive the hells, you'll survive this. <laughs> there's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Don't have a lot of gold to wa wager, but uh, how are you going to take my gold if you're dead? Oh, I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate... I'm sure you'll last longer than us. <laughs> All right, you're on. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> so many ways to die. This is very rich in terms of what you can do with the NPCs, right? And I'm kind of thinking, like, I'm comparing this in my head to a game like Mass Effect 3 or 2 or even the 
like even like other high profile RPGs and it's like there's so much more shit just like this little grove of like people like with the fucking ox and the little t thief kid and the guy with the locket and the kid that's trying to hustle you I saw you at the gates you fight well a few words for the kids spare a story or two Let's see Soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. Bad news, children. You're all going to die. <laughs> uh, let's be Seldarin. You must outsmart and outmaneuver. Your greatest weapon is your cunning. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. <laughs> blood for the blood god! <laughs> oh man, I gotta I gotta do a playthrough with an evil character. <laughs> Just like someone who's a real bastard. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief hell spawn, and you will wait for Corgus judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Yeah, don't 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 fuck around with druids too much. Anyway, hi. Uh, how are you doing? Are you are okay? Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. We need to get Arabella out. Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Was that why she tried to steal oh, it? It's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child. Make sure she comes to no harm. She's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. She's not our kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, Magrin. Give them a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Oh, okay, so we're racist now. Cool. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. But a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking druids. I want to talk to the animals. I'm gonna Dr. Doolittle this shit. Hi. Can we chat? I thought you were housey. The ball prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. Oh, did he now? What did I tell you? Speak. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I mean, I helped defend the grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. That doesn't sound like that would work with goblins, honestly. Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Shouldn't the 
ritual protect the grove? You're not helping yours prepare it. The ritual is Corcus' decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halson welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Hey, bird. Look at you, precious. Aw. Shh. I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? <laughs> Slightly off. Push it a bit to right. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's it. <laughs> Aw. He's horny. Yes. yes. This is perfect. Kick at the bur No, fuck off. I've never learned to converse with your kind. Wait, is that Volo from from Volo's folio? Do my eyes deceive me? A troll here. Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. <laughs> you were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Uh, fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. It's Volo's Guide to Monsters, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you see the tentacle ship? It was an illith innovation invasion force. The goblins were being controlled. That's a little mean. Classic raid gang, complete with lasher and a smattering of booyards. Ah, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. I'm not unfamiliar with your kind, certainly. Shocking little creatures, aren't they? Still, there's quite a bit more to them than most accounts allow. I myself plan to recall the world's most extensive catalog of their means and habits. A blue ocean of information, I dare say. <laughs> now, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragons? Really? How gauche. Witness declined to comment on the nature of dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Quite so. They sang the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, McLaviat, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Dramatic. How has McLaviat responded? Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. You're, you're, you're gonna get super killed. Wait, about your conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Oh, now. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I... The man... Pardon me. I must prepare to travel. To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, 
Volo, you're gonna you're match. gonna get turbo killed. Like you're gonna get killed so much, you're gonna you're gonna get very very super duper killed. Where's this goddamn arch druid? In here, I guess. Let's just do a quick save before we. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, hello. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Imprison her? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Sylvanas was more concerned with nobly sown seeds than punishing children. Was he not? It's a difficult persuasion, but I fucking persuaded the shit out of you! Get persuaded, loser! The words of the Tree Father. Spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. You okay there, Shadowheart? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? I mean, putting a child on display like that was monstrous. I'm glad we intervened. Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent. But that doesn't mean she was guilty. You're an arch druid and you're level five? What the hell? You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. And if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out or worse. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. No one's looking for Halsin. I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. That's a good offer. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. That works for me. Hey, wolf! Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? Oh, you've been with the kids, haven't you? Relax. No one is here to hurt you. Stupid or a liar. Neither is needed here. Go! <laughs> I think he's been like the kids have been playing with him. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can... Don't make me face any more of them. At least, 
Not alone. Well, everyone's got their own fears. Won't judge yours. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. I see you. A wounded bird. Oh no. Just give me a moment. This may be challenging. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Where did you see another drow? That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? Um, healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? <sighs> you know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Oh, hello. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. You and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help? It might. But first things first, tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? <laughs> I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Protected from on high? Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Yeah, now, I figured. Do I have your word or not? All right, hand it over. Swear it. <sighs> I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that. But... Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean, should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. 
Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? It sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. You're sure he can cure me? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. <sighs> All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. What vessel? Dude, what vessel? Never a quick draft in Ceremorphosis, nonetheless. Hmm, read. Track the druid, find whatever burrow who runs to and report back to me. Remember, you're only a scout. Do not engage, do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I shall decide what we do next. M. Hmm. Mind flare parasite specimen. Hanging suspended in murky slime, the living tadpole looks like some hideous cousin to the slug, only gorged and slick with remnants of brain fluid. Detailed records of fauna in the area with owl bears. Anatomical sketches of both a drow and an elithid tadpole are accompanied by notes written in an urgent scribble. The parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter. Illithid, undoubtedly. Yet the host seemed unaware while alive. No visible signs of serum of forces on the cadaver. Most strange. The final note is a single underlined word. Altered? Looks like Halson's our best bet for a cure. Let's see. Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were... See what he knows. Ambushed by a pack of goblins lit by a drow. Let's be optimistic and assume he's still among the living. We had no choice but to defend Forget ourselves. Halson. Only a gift Yankee crash holds our cure. Okay, stop interrupting me. But that is not the extraordinary or rather disturbing part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and is tempted to escape. I managed to capture it and ha have the host's cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Kaga will demand answers I don't yet have. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep it upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusion. A long jar packed full of several tentacles. It's unclear if they're from a sea creature or something more sinister. Oh no, it's pretty clear. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits. And they were crossed long ago. Oh, eat a dick. I gotta say, I don't find you that hospitable, honestly. That mural, they look like dark justices. Huh. Let's see. We have a red-headed elf and a green-clad man. And they're being looked over by soldiers. Is that a tiefling? I think that's a tiefling, actually. And a guy in a robe and a... 
priestess and wolves and animals are looking on. What do we have here? Back to back, they're fighting something. They're being attacked by something and they're fighting back against it? Huh. Great wolf birds. All the creatures of the forest attacking the goblins, driving them out. Okay, so that's a force of goblins or wargs and orcs, greenskins, being driven out by birds, wolves, animals, led by the red-haired elf. And then a gathering of druids. I guess they're establishing the grove as a place of sanctuary away from goblins. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanus, god of nature. Yeah. Are there any more plaques? Oh, I could just read it. I don't have to interpret the image. The forest rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. Beasts chasing beasts alongside a wild woman. A depiction of some local folktale, perhaps. No, I think it's pretty clear, but then I guess my character isn't that much of an art critic. <laughs> the towers seized the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shar on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. Thank you. So many dead. Sent to the Night Singer's embrace. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. Darkest hour, a concord made. Twixt harp and wild Harpers? against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. Interesting. So clearly there's a history here. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I want to have a word. A deep elf. In our grove. On this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? <laughs> Wrong kind of uh, deep elf. Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Well, you're making some... Uh... Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. <laughs> Reach for your weapon. <laughs> the rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. Starvation. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Does he now? I came on Sevlor's behalf. His people could perish if you forced them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. Attack. <laughs> I'm tempted to it. I'm real tempted to it, but... Uh... You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Ah, separatism. Truly the mental infection of the dumbest people on Earth. lunges at your foot and bites it. Calm down, I'm a friend. You barged in without an invitation. I wouldn't call that friendly. 
See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. Let me pass, or I'll spread word about this wonderful patch of land ripe for the taking. Not that I needed the advantage. <laughs> I would have made this made it anyway. Yeah. Okay, okay, calm down. We can make a deal. How about this? You can stay if you keep those ugly feet on the ground. I'll even sweeten the pot. Found some weird smelling stuff on the ground. You can keep it, but these trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Got it? You receive a hyena ear. Okay. <laughs> These tieflings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. I'm sure you do. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There will be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. You could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. Mm, your first kill? Don't worry, it gets easier. That's what Zevlo said too. I hope you're right. I want to help. I just didn't think it would feel like this. Yeah, it's not a... It's not a pleasant business, killing. Oh, hello! I think we've found a bugbear assassin. Another step forward. And I get in the way of this. Victory awaits. Yeah, yeah, I figured he'd get back up after that. I speak, they burn. No one stopped me yet. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. <laughs> I've been to Avernus, but uh, I'm no devil's servant. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? <sighs> A mind flayer abducted me, and its ship went straight to Avernus. Let's see if I can convince you of that. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. I'll take that. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. Nozelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you. 
If it's all the same. <laughs> they like each other. Oh, hey, I forgot to read this plaque. This grove is kept by Sylvanus's faithful. Indeed. Okay, right. I think... I think we have explored the entire grove by now. Only took us three hours. Good lord, and that is probably a good place to call an episode. My apologies to my poor editor. If you have enjoyed hanging out in the world of Baldur's Gate 3 with me, you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. You can head on over to Twitch and follow and or subscribe over there if you want to watch me recording these episodes live. Uh, or you can become a member of the channel to get access to these episodes before everyone else gets to see them. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history wash gently over us all.